Hi guys, Paul from PA Brew News, doing a little daddy goodness at the house, but I'm going to have a beer too. So I got some metal playing and some kids shows. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, hopefully they stay out there. Ah, what do we have? Jubal. We have the Jubal Ale from Deschutes 2015 and the coughing. The coughing happens too. You alright? Good. See? Gotta ask. The coughing happens, but this is from 2015. This is a really big thing of wax. I'm gonna have to need my special wax killer. Really thick. There we go. Gonna get wax killer. Excellent. Excellent. This is from 2015. Apparently, it was brewed before this in 2010, but it was so good that they had to do it some more. That's okay by me, and I will tell you a little bit about it in just one momento. You can see that pour is a murky brown, tannish head. Very nice. Listen to a little mortification right now. Why not? Anyway, this is an ale brewed with 50% age in Pinot Noir and Oregon Oak Barrels. Oregon being known for Pinot Noir for the region. From Bend, Oregon. This comes in at a hopping 10.4 alcohol by volume, and it's best after 123.16. So of course, if you're gonna get, of course, if you're gonna get one of these, it's way past the best by date. So that's good, or the best before date. So that's great. And uh, again, this was brewed in 2010, and they just had to do it again. They just couldn't stop themselves. So let's see what all the fuss is about with the Jubal Ale. All right. Wow. Just toffee. Nugget, brown sugar, raisins, that Pinot Noir grape, just, wow, caramel, tons of it. Mm, just that really dark, dark, dank, celery goodness of the, that, that caramel, molasses, toffee, and then the grape esters coming through with the wine, the Pinot wine, the tannic notes, the smoky notes coming through. Very beautifully musty. Musty in a beautiful way. So let's get into this and see what we got. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Very smooth. Very creamy. Medium body overall because it tapers down near the end. But it's very, very luscious in the idea of <coughs> it's nuancy, but there's some big tones kind of come playing along. You get some brown sugar, you're getting almost like a white pepperiness, a white pepper kind of spiciness going on there too. The Pinot Noir definitely is not is not overshadowing anything. It's very mellow, very nice. It's giving it that peppery spiciness. You have caramel, molasses. <clears throat> raisins, dates, figs, plums, the whole deal going through this very nice brown sugar molasses back of just sweetness. I mean, it does, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of a grape ester from the wine, the Pinot, is going on there. But the big play of the sweetness is just molasses, brown sugar, caramel. You know, <laughs> and then you get these, these nice little fruit esters of raisins and grapes and figs and dates and things like that. It's a little bit on the on the side of, of, of toned down, a little subtle, but it's really well. Hmm. Drying on the back end though, those uh, Pinot grape esters kind of come back out, that tannic note, and then the esters of the wine dry the back of the palate out and leave you with that kind of spicy note too. So it's definitely not something that will be overly, overly sweet by any stretch of the imagination. It's a very toned down, smooth beer. I mean, the head, I mean, the head, there is a head there, but it's super silky creamy. Mm. If you love a good old ale, things like that. Actually, some of the mustiness, the dank mustiness in here, mixing with those hints of um, a spiciness, almost an earthy spiciness. I mean, even some of this from the hops too. But I'm getting a little bit of that earthy spiciness mixing with that grape ester, that tannic note. 
but I'm getting this musty, savory um, notes from like brown sugars and molasses and stuff. It actually reminds me a little bit of the hair of dog stuff that I've had, the doggy claws and whatnot. So it's very good. <coughs> oh, you Oregonians and your beer, you. Yeah, just just spilling beer everywhere. Right yeah. over. Wow. It's not going to be for everyone, I don't think, because it is a little subtle, a little, a little musty, a little dark, a little dank. I got those hints and those pretty crazy. It's not so big, bright as some as some ales of this nature can be. But I'm going to give it a solid 9 because I really do enjoy it quite a bit. And I am going to enjoy the rest of this bottle during Daddy Daycare time. It's not daycare, it's called parenting. And we do it now and again, don't we? Unfortunately. This has been Paul from PA Brew News. Cheers. Bye-bye.